I know, I know, bud. I know. <laughs> I've never related more to one of his characters. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey and I love watching and discussing TV shows and movies, so if you like doing that too, you should definitely stick around and hang out. Because today I am watching Free Guy. Another thing you should know is that we're all huge Jodie Comer fans around here. I fell in love with her while going through the Killing Eve series, and I recently did Help and The Last Duel from her, both of which were fairly heavy watches, and then as we all know, the last season of Killing Eve, especially that ending, was just horrific and awful and terrible, and so today we needed a little light-hearted Jody to cheer us up. I know this also has Ryan Reynolds, who I adore and who always makes me laugh, so I'm really excited about that. I also think it's by the same studio that did Deadpool is what I saw, which I loved, so I actually have sort of high hopes for this. Now, I have not seen the trailer for this movie. I did read the synopsis for it or whatever when I went to pay for it. I could not rent this movie for some reason, so I had to buy it. But the synopsis says that he is a background character in a video game. I am assuming they mean like an NPC or something. I'm not actually a gamer, but my whole house is full of gamers. I got really into Sea of Thieves like last year during quarantine, and I played some Grounded, which is a really cool game, but I've just never really been a big gamer. I am desperately waiting for Harry Potter legacy, and if any game is going to turn me into a gamer, it would be that. But all that to say, I'm not a huge gamer, but I think I'll probably know enough to like get most of the jokes just because I'm around gamers all of the time. I think depending on how kid-friendly it ends up being, I actually don't didn't pay attention to what it's rated, but depending on how kid-friendly it ends up being, it would be a fun one to watch with my kids. I think without Ryan Reynolds and Jodie Comer, I would be a lot more hesitant to give this movie a chance, but I love both of them so much, and Deadpool was so funny, so I actually have fairly high expectations for this movie. Hopefully I'm not let down. As always, these videos do have to be cut up for YouTube, so if you want my full-length reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. This mom has got three gamers to raise, so shout out and thank you to everyone who's able to support me over there. I love and appreciate you guys so much, especially my MVPs. You guys are amazing. And without further ado, let's get into it. Boop! Look at this guy. He's one of the sunglasses people. And the people who wear sunglasses are heroes. Something about Ryan Reynolds' voice just is funny. Like anything he says is just funny. <laughs> you are so hot. Oh, I know. I didn't know that Channing Tatum was in this. See? That's not even his car. So is this like a... Oh my god, what is that game? How am I blanking on this game right now? The laws aren't really laws to you them. Know, the one They're more like <laughs> mild suggestions. Like, I don't think he's gonna return that car. Or that nice lady. <laughs> nice lady. What the fuck game am I thinking of, guys? Oh my god, it starts with a G. My name is Guy, and I live in paradise. I'm looking it up or else I'm gonna be distracted by how annoying my brain is. Hold on. Good morning, Corky. Grand Theft Auto! And I work at the bank. What more could a guy want? His closet was basically mine. How he has like the cartoon wardrobe or whatever, and every outfit is the same. I own like 30 versions of like black tank tops because I just. My wardrobe's so boring. Hold the fudge. You mean to tell me that nobody snapped up those bad boys? Today's the day. Like every other day. I'll be back for those. I'll be back for those. Like, that's not even a funny line, but the way he said it for some reason, it felt so funny. This is the greatest cup of coffee of all time. I want to write a song about it. I want to dance to that song with my body. I love my life. <laughs> with my body. I know the woman I'm looking for. Oh, let me guess. The one with the offbeat suit. See him. And up since she would feel good to you. Pop. Yes, that's her. She's rented space in my brain and she won't move out. And you know what? I don't want her to. Oh my God. How did I not think about that? I didn't even think about... Jody being a love interest. I'm so used to just thinking of her as a woman loving woman, you know? Which is silly because it's literally only one of her characters that I've watched, but. You got a video or a screen grab? Oh my god. You wanna know what I do to people? You waste my time. Oh wow. Someone wants to play. Hey, you really British or is that an accent filter? Because maybe we could meet up later. I don't have a burning desire to see your mom's basement, thanks. I actually kinda like British Jody. What's so special about this video clip anyway? What's special is I kill people who ask questions about it. Woo! 
Seriously, is it loot or is it just the experience? Those are questions. Oh my god! She looks so good! I don't blame you, buddy! Don't have a good day, have a great day. Love that song. That's a new one. Her. Yeah, it is. Ooh, that's my dream girl, buddy. Oh, I know. Jesus. Oh, she does. I'm, I'm gonna go talk to her. I... She's all badass too. Look at her. That's everything Villanelle should have been in the final season. <gasps> oh my god, it scared me. <gasps> Coming soon. Oh my god, look at her! Ah! I have a lawsuit against the publisher, and the evidence that I need is in the game, so I had oh. my quotes. I wish we weren't closing so I could hear more about this. Wow. Actually, I think I'd like to try a cappuccino today. Ooh, cappuccino. I enjoy saying that. It's like a waterfall made of letters. Excuse me? It's like a waterfall made of letters. Somebody's about to get shot. Sir Johnny? Oh, Sir Johnny? Whew, it's like, uh, Jesus washed my tongue. Right before he finished, he finally told my dad he's good enough. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Officer what? Johnny! Have a good one, guy. Officer Johnny! Cappuccino. Did he plant a seed in that other NPC now? God, what am I doing? Hi. Hi. Ow. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need your sunglasses for a second. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Okay, just, just need to borrow them for a sec, okay? Back off. It's just real, I said, real don't. Stop. Oh. Oh. You broke it or something? I said, no. Oh. He's just resting. In pieces, that man is dead. He's so sleepy. He's so sleepy. He's trying to gun down. <laughs> For when you wake. Oh, he's seeing all the possible tasks and objectives and stuff. Ryan Reynolds is the only person that could make this kind of movie funny for me instead of stupid. Maybe Paul Rudd. I adore him too, but I think they're like the only two that can make me laugh on a whole different level than most people. To the extent they can just say almost anything and it'll make me laugh is what I'm trying to say. I can't trace them. Whoever it is, they're... They're good. Huh. You gotta be better at your job, buddy. I'm pretty good. I'll see you on the inside. What was that Apple TV show, though? It was like Mystic Quest or something. That one was really funny. I can't remember if I actually finished it, but at least the first season was really funny. See, you got on your show. Oh, God. Hey, 40 year old virgin, get over here. Let's go. Uh huh. Captain Khakis, come here. Go, let's go. Come on, bud. Closer. No, no. Blue shirt guy. Blue shirt. Yes. Nice skin. Thank you. That's sweet. <laughs> That's sweet. Listen up, Neutrogena. You know you can't go around looking like that. The rules are clear. And another thing, you can't hack the NPC avatar. Lose the skin. I lose. How am I supposed to get rid of my skin? Take it off, man. <laughs> Just take it off. What are you doing? What? If you don't, we're gonna kill you. Why? And we're gonna keep why? killing you. Still why? Until Still why? And 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to just repeat everything he says. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> I just find the order of those threats very confusing. Somebody's <laughs> Oh my god, that would be terrifying. That one coming. Did you see that one coming? It scared me a little bit. It <laughs> scared me a little bit too. I know he can't die, but it gives me the butterflies when I see people go up that high. So, so good at this. I'm so good at this. I came in like a <laughs> Nope. Heartbreaking story of Blue Shirt Guy. Also, aren't you some kind of MIT genius indie game designer? I don't know why this movie is making me think of so many other movies, but if you have not seen Grandma's Boy, that is also one of my favorite movies within the context of like gaming and stuff, I guess. I mean, it's one of my favorite movies, just comedy movies in general, but them talking about Antoine or whatever was making me think of, uh, oh, uh, what's his name of that movie? I have the worst memory ever. The, how did you see me, guy? Okay. Me, me, me. I thought we'd be lucky to give it away. That's what's so charming about Keys. He's clueless about his own genius. Uh, no, Millie is the genius. Uh, she built the AI engine from the ground up. So, to get a little personal, what's the thing that gets you up in the morning? Uh, medium copy cream tissues. <laughs> and, uh, what's the other thing? Uh, oh, yeah. An insatiable thirst for validation. She's not kidding. Not. How about you? code. It's not just zeros and ones, it's hidden messages. I like to think of myself actually as not a code writer, but but an author. I just use zeros and ones instead of words because 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 words will let you down, but zeros and ones never. So they wrote the code. I thought he was just like a tester or something because he seemed he didn't seem like he was like in charge there. You have to leave. I can't talk to you. Oh, shame will have that effect. No, Millie. I mean, I can't talk to you. I can't even see you. I'm literally focusing on background objects because looking at your lips move violates my NDA and it could get me fired. Oh. Fired by Antoine, the guy who stole our work? No. No, he oh. bought it and then he shelved it. Millie. I found a clue. Mm. It's on a clip in the camera stash house. All I need from you is to get me in there. Millie, I care about you. you need to leave oh come on today's gonna be different goldie he remembers right like he doesn't wake up with a different memory every day or something or a wiped memory every day what are we looking at who are you Shit. Should I come with you? Yes? Boom. How do we get from there to wherever this is? You mean the portal gun? Portal gun? That sounds expensive. Wow, you are a special kind of noob. Thank you, you too. Turn around. Okay. Thank you, you too. Okay. <laughs> I work alone. You have beautiful grenades. Besides, if you want to have any chance of making an impact here, you need to- What are you doing? See? Oh. That's mine. And that's yours. Oh, I- Oh. One. <laughs> what, is one the best or the worst? There is literally nothing, Lower. Sometimes forget not everyone you meet on here is a sociopathic man-child. <laughs> Thank you. If you ever met the dick responsible for this world, you'd agree. Are we talking about God? You've met God? And he's a dick? <laughs> and he's a dick? <laughs> I don't know if anybody does it, but you could rack experience points up by being a good guy. Okay, no, I'm gonna be a great guy. Ooh, yeah. ooh, okay. Well, enjoy your lifetime supply of virginity. <laughs> Off you go. Okay, wait, how will I know that I've leveled up enough? 
Uh, get over a hundred, and we'll talk. Whoa. Bye now. That's so much more than one. Mm -hmm. It's like 99. Bye now. It's like 99 more. <laughs> They're great together. I feel like it'd probably be hard not to just like naturally riff with Ryan Reynolds, you know what I mean? Like, he probably brings out the natural chemistry in almost anybody, you know what I mean? And Jody too, I mean, there's almost no way they weren't gonna be magic together and like funny together because they're both so great. Okay, so he clearly remembers day to day. This is bullshit. Who is this guy? I don't know, but he's good. Yeah, he's good. He looks like an NPC, but he's running around leveling. His facial expressions are even funny in video game character mode. What is that called when they do the little squatty thing over their face after killing them? <laughs> I'm blanking. I know there's a name for it. I feel I'm gonna feel so dumb when you tell me. Yo, we are in the middle of something. That's my guy. Puppy's changed my life. You could do so much better than that guy. You could be with. Like, a good guy. Or maybe I don't have to be with any guy. Right, exactly. Most of them are awful. They really are. Terrible. Yeah, do whatever you want to do. You're my best friend, buddy. And you don't have to be scared. If you change your mind, be around. Aww. This movie feels so familiar and like reminds me of so many other movies, not in a bad way. Like for some reason that the layer reminded me of The Incredibles. I don't know why I keep thinking of so many other movies, but it's got like a weird nostalgic feeling to it. Also kind of Iron Man's Garage with like Incredibles vibes. <laughs> Does that make sense? Oh, heck yeah. Was that cool? Felt oh, really cool. <laughs> really pretty. That actually hurt my hand. <laughs> I know, I know, bud. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never related more to one of his characters. <laughs> We're doing great. <laughs> oh my god, he just tickles my funny bone. You should definitely go. Is that a Glock in your pocket? No. What? It's two Glocks. Oh, good morning, Sheepo! What is that, the guy's name from Grandma's Boy? Because she's got no fruit and her ex-partner works for me. JP! JP was iconic. You said there'd be the same characters in the sequel. Well, here's the thing. When I said that, I was lying. When I said that, I was lying. Let me ask you a question. Okay. You love Kentucky Fried Chicken, right? Mm -hmm. No. No. It's all good with me if I don't have to pay you more. Antoine, out. Oh, that guy was annoying. Why'd that guy look so familiar, though? I mean, I know I've seen him before, but... Okay. <laughs> I was actually right. I thought I was wrong, but... I was recognizing him as Adolf from Jojo Rabbit, which by the way is a very good movie.
like surprisingly well done if you haven't seen Jojo Rabbit. It's very interesting and unique. <laughs> it's bubblegum flavor. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Guy? Get out of my brain hole! I love bubblegum ice cream! My brain hole? Nobody likes bubblegum ice cream. That sounds gross. Coffee used to be my favorite food, but compared to this, it tastes like liquid suffering. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, nothing. You're funny. Aww. I actually haven't seen Jody like smile and laugh all that much in any of her roles so far. I mean, a little bit as Villanelle, but not to this level, you know what I mean? Holy. What? What did that mean? When I was younger, I was obsessed with swings. And the coffee order that everyone got was her order, too. So it's like bits of her are programmed into the whole AI interface or is interface the right word? I don't know. You know that moment, that uh, that split second between like rising and falling when you're totally weightless and feels like you're free. Free, what you said. I want to kiss you so badly. You want to kiss me badly? No. No, 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 I want to kiss you well. I, 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 I mean, I, I'm an idiot, so I say, I say things No, like, you know how to. Go for it. I know how. <laughs> it's so good. You were right. Our code, it is in Free City. And Millie, it works. Blue shirt guy? Yeah is not a player. He is an algorithm who thinks he's alive. He is the first real artificial intelligence. No. I know. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh no. God. Holy. If this is a good thing. No, it's really bad. Millie, his code, it's thousands of times the size it should be. Yeah, but she's finding out she was crushing on an AI, so it's a little awkward. One of the baristas learned how to make a cappuccino through trial and error. I mean, that's really difficult. I can't even do that. And the bombshell character in the game wrote a memoir that's a searing indictment of gender roles. The patriarchy. <laughs> parts, but overall, it's pretty good. I mean, Millie, we have to sell it. <laughs> what are you that talking is about? so this is what funny. Do. Kiss me. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's what I was saying. It's a little awkward now. <sighs> She's embarrassed. I'm so Chill wait, for a second. Guy. Like, Guy. Okay. Yeah. She I am. I'm so confused. Why and <laughs> really, put all that aside. Weird or not, when people find out about this, you could win a Nobel pr prize. Oh God. What? Oh my God! If they see this. What? Wh oh, what is it? Antoine. What else? Free City Two is not an update. It's a replacement. It, exactly. So when Free City Two launches on Monday. Blue shirt guy. All proof of our code. Everything will be deleted. We're screwed. Maybe not. If we. <laughs> If we can find our original build in the game, it'll prove that Antoine used our code without properly licensing it. We just have to find it before Free City 2 launches. We have 48 hours. What do they mean by finding their build? Like, what is it that they're looking for? Hey! Hi! Guy, we need to talk. What's going on with your voice? Where's your Australian accent? British. I think I know an Australian accent when I see one. I turned off the accent filter. This is me. Good. Look, I have to tell you something really. I'm <laughs> so confused. You're what we call an NPC. NPC, that the policeman and the muscular bunny rabbit. They call me that. What is an NPC? The muscular bunny rabbit. Wait, hold on a second. This is, uh, just stop for a second. I want to make sure that I'm getting this straight. I just want to fully understand here. So I'm fake. The entire world is is fake. I'm just, I'm not even a main character. I'm just this idiot who's in the in the background. He's going through the existential crisis we all go through every day. Nothing matters. I'm not even a main character. I'm just some idiot in the background. We're not the same. You're real. And I'm what? I'm what? You're not. You're not. Well, I may not be real, but I, for a second there, I... I felt pretty alive. Oh. 
Has anyone seen my Your cats? No, Phyllis, I haven't seen them, but here's a revolutionary idea. Close your goddamn door. They don't have thumbs, Phyllis. <laughs> they don't no have thumbs, thumbs Phyllis. Don't no thumbs! <laughs> Don't any of you get it? None of this matters! None of it! That car! <laughs> Officer John A! Have a good one, guy. <laughs> Officer John A! But if you're not real, doesn't that mean that nothing you do matters? What does that mean? Look, brother, I am sitting here with my best friend trying to help him get through a tough time. I mean, what's more real than a person trying to help someone they love? Do you know the other security guards? Does this look intimidating? I don't know. How do you hold this thing? <laughs> yeah, now this totally reminds me of Iron Man's garage. Are you Blue Shirt Guy? Yeah, maybe. Holy shit! You're not. You're, you're Blue Shirt Guy! It's you! Yeah. I love you. you I mean, <laughs> I'm like a fan. You're awesome. You can have anything you want. Wait, hold on one second. Gamers, listen up. This is where Benjamin Button's here. He's streaming. <laughs> Can I get a little the what what for my followers guy? What? Perfect. All right, so what's happening is perfect. <laughs> I walk through it to get to the secret level. Who are you talking to? You guys, what if we're talking to? It's just such a it's such a classic guy line. <laughs> <laughs> to say my catchphrase, my viewers will just banana cream sandwich all over themselves if you say, well, I love banana cream sandwiches. Maybe not this banana cream sandwich. Yeah, this one. Perfect. Okay, so just say, you know what time it is? You know what time it is? It's crime o'clock, baby. Yeah. It's crime o'clock. No, I can't say that. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Are you present? I didn't have time to wrap it. What? Is that the right one she needed? I used to shoot all the secondary characters when I was born, you know. And then uh, I'd teabag them. Teabag them! That's what I was thinking of earlier. <laughs> He reminds us of what's possible. Also, he's like crazy hot. Oh my god, totally. I'd hit those pixels hard. <laughs> I'd hit those pixels hard. Oh god. I thought you liked blue shirt. Don't say words to me! People are so busy watching this loser on Twitch and YouTube. You know what they're not doing, guys? Buying Free City 2. You're getting crazy publicity for Free City 1. Got it. As much as I love this guy, what's his name? Wyka, White, I know it's WT are his, his initials. And I think that he is a very funny person. But I don't know if it's because I grew up watching Grandma's Boy or something, but JP is a hard one to top. He's losing me money, so I don't care if he's Arnold freaking Schwarzenbader. Terminate him. <laughs> reboot. You can't, you can't do that. A reboot? I think that guy is so funny, though. I just think JP was such a perfect character. <laughs> oh my god, that's it. It's our original build, and that build is proof our code is in the game. I've seen this place. What? Yeah. What do you mean? How could you possibly see Millie? Millie? Oh no! That'd be fucking terrifying. We're dark. Free City is offline. <sighs> Good morning, Goldie. Oh no, now is his memory wiped? Front of warm, dry gunfire mixed with late afternoon stabbings. Warm, dry gunfire mixed with afternoon stabbings. <laughs> what really is the difference between a light roast and a dark roast? Nobody knows. And then something changes, he comes to life. That's why. And then I remember that he was someone who was designed to never meet the right person, but he never stopped hoping that he would meet the, the girl of his dreams. So I had to base this girl off of someone, and who better than you? So he literally coded her to be in love with Millie? You changed him, Millie. And I think you can do it again. You brought him to life, Millie. Please, Lord. I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do. True, the choice is totally yours. Okay, okay, fine. I <laughs> Me in a 3D theater, I'm always like, <laughs> Come on, guy, it's our dream girl. How 
how'd she do that, though? I thought there wasn't a button for that. He had to do it. See that? Right there. Oh my god. Antoine hit our original build past the horizon, making it invisible, but he forgot to scrub the reflections. It's still out there, guy. We just can't see it. Millie, be careful. Antoine may be an asshole, but he's not stupid. He'll figure out what you're up to, and he'll throw everything he's got at you. You're right. Um, hi, Millie, and other person I can't see. Well, I, I have an idea. What if he has nothing to throw? <laughs> Everyone, gather around. But are you sick Dude, his hands up as well. living in the background? Aren't you sick of being shot at? Yeah. Taken hostage. No more. Run over. We done with that. We done with that. The human shield. We are out of this damn. Buddy. Sorry. <laughs> what are you trying to say, guy? I'm trying to say that things in this city don't have to be this way. Things can be different. For starters, you can put your arms down. Yeah. Yeah. What about when someone runs in with a gun? Yeah. Having my arms up is just a real time saver. Except, what if the guy with the gun doesn't come. What? Really? It's always a guy with a gun. So many guys with guns. People, what if our world doesn't have to be so scary? Millie, how many times a day are the banks robbed in your world? Hardly ever, guy. What about corpses, Millie? You see what? a lot of those? How many an hour? None per hour, guy. What about gun violence? None per hour, guy. a lot of gun violence in your world? Actually, that's a big problem, guy. It's a massive problem. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> not even comparable to this world, though. That's not true. I need more in my life than drip coffee. I want to make... A cappuccino. A goddamn difference in the world. Much, much better. And a green tea boba. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Where are all the players right now? And wouldn't all the coders and programmers notice that all the NPCs are having a meeting? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I was gonna say, what? Where the hell is everybody? Oh, I see. It's That's the point. Okay. They're like boycotting being the background characters for the game. Antoine, if you're watching this, Please fix the game, and most of all, oh my God. bring back oh my Blue God. Shirt. Antoine, you should see this. Blue Shirt guy's becoming beloved. You can't fuck with that. Boot Molotov girl, now. I'm trying. I'm trying as hard as I can, but her account's spoofed. This woman is exceptional. She is. Throw everything at them, all right? Five badges, G. Yeah, uh, just one problem. G. We don't have anything. What you talking about, Willis? We don't have any- What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> it's what I've been trying to tell you. It's like every NPC went on strike. It's like a digital walkout. Yeah, it is. Turn off respawn. Kill them dead, now. But that means any players who die will be done for good. They'll freak out. I don't care. Sir, sir, just to be clear- it's literally the death of your company. That's like the dumbest thing in the world, to make a game if you die forever you're just done. And then act like you don't care, like... I've seen what happens when video game companies piss off their players. <laughs> See, now this reminds me of Inception! Am I the only one? I don't even know why that is. I mean, I know why it's reminding me of Inception, I guess. I just don't know why. I don't usually think of so many other movies while watching a movie, you know what I mean? I don't know how or why this movie has reminded me of so many other movies while watching it. But again, not necessarily like in a bad way, in like a nostalgic way. Screw it. Art notes. Time for dude. We're still working on him. I worked on him myself. He's perfect. Drop in dude now. Just do it. He's got like half a brain. He's barely written, but sure. Start the upload. Dude and guy. You chose your side, little Padua. And now it's time for you to take your place next to the Emperor. Pretty sure those, those Star Wars references, right? Star Wars is one of the only series, franchise series, that I haven't seen, actually. What is she still doing in the game, man? Oh my god, is he Korg? I just realized he's Korg, huh? 
I know some of his roles, but there's lots of roles that I probably know of the role. I just haven't connected to him yet. Like Korg. I love Korg. But I just connected that in my head. That that's that's his voice. That's him, right? Well, if you make it across that bridge, show the whole world our bill. That's the proof you do that end when it's done. I'll make it. Come on, guy. For our girl. All right. Let's all remember this moment before we were fired. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh no! Well, the catchphrase, the catchphrase is a pretty cool catchphrase. No, it's not. Why is there a shirt tattoo on him? Who is this? I don't know. He's glorious. <laughs> I mean, he's just like you, but way better. But way better. I think he's gonna. Hit you. He punches so hard. Yeah, his hands are so soft. Be strong. Okay, bye. Hey, it's like I'm a feather to him. <laughs> Wee! Wee! No, 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 no! Get up. Playtime's over. Catch me. I don't know. Catch me. Come on, man. There are three things I love in life. Kicking ass. TBD. Third thing here. I actually love how they've done like his unfinished parts. You know, all the little placeholders. <laughs> TBD, third thing here. Get up, guy. <laughs> the music. What the shit? that cameo i mean captain america is my least favorite out of all the avengers but i'll take it yes that's a lightsaber dude that's a lightsaber dude it's a lightsaber it is it is <laughs> puny god <laughs> ow are you crushing his sternum fuck you dude Ryan Reynolds looks like such a douche with that hair. Dude's hair. Oh. Do you see them all now? You see them all now? Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah, there you go. Get it. Lots of little snacks. Shiny things everywhere. My kids are gonna love this movie. We're the service to Free City One. No. Antoine, what, what the hell are you doing? They get past that horizon to the build, I lose everything! Wait, so you did steal their code? Welcome to the conversation, genius. Where are those servers? Well, it's all of these, but hold on, I'm trying to wrap my- Yeah, all of them, dumbass. How did you- WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! Like, how would your company survive this anyways? If you destroy all the servers, You've pissed off all of your players. Like, what exactly is your end game here? How is this going to better the conclusion of events for you? <laughs> you know, I just... See, and that reminds me of the Rainbow Bridge from Thor. Sorry. I'm not. It's been the best day of my life. You get to that field. Stop, this is so cheesy. Why am I actually getting emotional? Oh! That was cute. It's the best day of his life. I can't believe I'm actually crying over that. That was so cute. Bromances get me, man. Look, 
I just want the world that I built and the people in it. What's in it for Antoine? Everything else. Meaning? Pretend I'm dumb. You have the rights to our Pretend? I mean, you're talking about giving up millions of dollars. Why would anyone do that? Because Keys and I made something great. And I don't need money or fame to prove that to myself. I'm done playing your game, Antoine. She doesn't need validation anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty cute when you brag. Now he's the blue shirt guy, like he's wearing blue. <laughs> uh, hey Mills. Did you want to come g uh, grab coffee? With me? Actually, I'm gonna jump back into the game. I'll just, I'll, I'll grab you one. Oh, he's, uh, uh... I know, medium coffee, cream two sugars. Yeah. Hey guys. The lady and her cats. <laughs> Dude. Look, I... This is harder than I thought. Then let me do it for you. Guy, I created this world that I can't live my life in. See? Is that so hard? Ah, oh, how dare they take tears from me. I love you, Millie. You know, maybe that is my programming talking, but, but guess what? Someone wrote that. I was gonna say, he's programmed after keys. It's a perfect way to put it. It's a love letter to her. Because he programmed him basically like himself, and then programmed him to always be looking for her as the dream girl. And now he's wearing a blue shirt. You brought him to life. And he was alive because he met the one person he'd been waiting for his whole life. And I had to make it realistic, so I based it off of you. The woman of his dreams. You dummy! Finally putting it together. So she liked bubblegum ice cream and swing sets and... Stop! Good. Don't be this cute! Oddly specific habit of always humming this classic Mariah Carey track. Like all the time, she would... Repeat. <laughs> Oh my god, such a hopeless romantic. That was so sweet. See, he's blue shirt guy now. <laughs> that was so cute. But what about this blue shirt guy? Is he actually gonna get an NPC girlfriend or something? Or a AI girlfriend? I'm great, you're great, dude. Mm -hmm. Dismiss my best friend. We used to do the same walk together every day, except he wore a shirt. Wait, what happened to... He didn't survive all this? What happened to the friend? Did I miss that? Yeah. Buddy! No! Oh no! My God. Buddy, I thought I'd lost you! You didn't! Man, I love it here! <laughs> a couple days ago, I wrote a centaur. I wrote a centaur. <laughs> Whatever the centaur is, I did it. I did it. Friendly gesture! So friendly! Friendly gesture! So what do we do? Whatever we want. <laughs> that was so stinking cute. That was so fun. So quotable. I loved so many of those lines. And like I said several times throughout the movie, it had a very fun, nostalgic feel to it. I don't know if I was totally imagining this in my head and like making these connections just completely on my own or if I was supposed to be feeling this way, but it felt like the movie was referencing lots of other bits of pop culture throughout it. And so whether that was intentional or not, that was really fun for me. Ryan Reynolds always makes me laugh. I knew that he would have me giggling, but Jody was super fun too. Again, this was my first time seeing her in a more lighthearted, funny role where it, like she actually laughed and smiled. Like I don't think I've seen her actually laugh in a role. I think she did absolutely wonderfully. Obviously, this movie doesn't seem to be as 
much of like a challenge or a testament to her incredible acting as some of the, her other more challenging and heavy roles. But I still think she killed it. She did perfectly. She did amazingly. She did wonderfully. I was actually pretty impressed with the storyline. I thought that it was layered enough to still be interesting and feel unique, but it was also simple enough to still be lighthearted and enjoyable. I really enjoyed Key's character as well, even though we don't really get as much insight into him, at least until the end. I still think that he was a really interesting character. Antoine was okay. As much as I love that actor, the, the character itself was all right for me. I didn't dislike him. I just think that he was probably my least favorite character in the movie. I think that he was the weakest. Not necessarily the acting. I just, I don't know, something about him just wasn't as compelling for me. I didn't expect to be as affected by the relationship between Guy and his friend. I can't even remember if his friend had a name. I thought their relationship was done very well. I mean, the fact that their relationship starts out so, you know, silly and cheesy or whatever, the fact that I actually end up crying over their little moment, it's very impressive to me because I feel like it just happened so gradually. You know what I mean? Like, I was getting invested in their friendship without realizing how invested I was getting, but I absolutely did not expect for them to be able to make me cry until it happened. I thought that was really cute. But yeah, Ryan and Jody just made this movie everything that it was for me. They are so fun to watch for me, and they were so much fun to watch together. I cannot wait to show this to my kids. They are going to love it. And this was absolutely the lighthearted Jody moment that I needed after the last two movies I did with her, and especially the finale of Killing Eve, because we don't speak of her. So thank you guys so much for suggesting this. I had so much fun. As far as what's coming up, next week we're starting Fleabag and Orphan Black, and we have several good movies coming up, so make sure that you subscribe and hit that damn notification bell if you haven't already. And another reminder that if you're interested in my full-length reactions, you can head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. Mama's got three gamers to raise, so shout out and thank you to everyone who's able to support me over there. I love and appreciate you guys so much, especially my MVPs. You guys are amazing. And thank you all for being here today. It is an honor to have you spend your time with me. I love you all so much, and I will see you in the next video. See you later.